Hello, Sam here to show you how to use the equation editor on your MacBook, and this will save you a ton of time using all these hotkeys and shortcuts when you're using the equation editor on your MacBook. Right, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to go through a lot of the standard functions you would use on the equation editor for Mac. But it's a real pain having to press this button over here, equation, every single time. And I'll show you exactly what buttons I press as I go through. So, starting out, we're going to click the Control Shift and equals button, if you click that, it will bring up the equation editor automatically. So you'll see the buttons just in front of you now. From here, you can then write in all the calculations you like. So 54 uh, plus, for example, 47, and then equals. So the plus button, the equals button works in exactly the normal way that you expect as well. Um, then you can do lots of other different bits and pieces as well. So say you want to use the euro button, they can control alt and euro, and then you go 34 plus and, or times and plus. Say you want to use dollar button, we go shift and four, so you've got this as well. Okay, so it kind of works the normal way once you're into equation editor. We can also work on fractions too, so let's go to the fraction section here. So the way we do this, we start up our equation editor, so control, shift and equals, that's really important. And fractions are really easy to write, if I want to do a fraction, I'll go one backslash four, and then it will convert it automatically to a fraction. So let's do that again. So I go three backslash four, and it will change it to three quarters. And yeah, you know, this also works in other areas as well. If I want to do a bit more complicated calculation, then I may want to write three X backslash four X, for example, and see so it will change the x's as well into your fractions. Now exponents, if we go down to the bottom here, we're gonna use the chevron key here, so if we want to do uh, exponent of some kind, again, we can click on Control, Shift, and Equals, that's always your starting point here, and then we go for chevron, which is this key here, so you'll see that in front of you, to press e, uh, the space bar, and you'll get them four squared. And this works for any calculation, so, go three chevron x, I get three to the power of x. And if I want to do, for example, three chevron in brackets, x plus one, then you'll notice it will convert it into x plus one. It's very intuitive once you've got this uh, up and running. Now, if we go down to square roots, okay, so now let's look at square roots. So we have to start up our equation editor to start with, control shift equals, always our starting point, and now we want to do a backslash. Now, the way we do this is we click on Alt, Shift, and the front slash. So you're gonna get that there in front of you, and this is a really important tool. You'll see it in front of you now. And then to get a square root, we just type in SQRT, and then we get our square root, which we can then do 45. And this also works for various other kinds of roots as well. So again, very important, we go Alt, Shift, and the seven key, give us our backslash, and then we can type in CBRT for cube root. Now, if you're wondering where I'm getting those letters from, you can actually read it from up here. So say I want to do a divide sign, you can see it's backslash DIV. Let me just uh, show you that. So if I'd want to do that, I go Alt, Shift, seven, type in div, and you'll see it gives me a divide symbol. So once you start learning these, you can actually do all the different symbols that you see up here as well. Um, just like the normal um, equation editor in the Microsoft Word package, um, if you start it up, so control shift equals, and type in sign, notice as soon as I finish the N in sign, it will change it automatically into the sign function. So then sign 45, for example. Okay, so that works as normally. Um, if I want to do it's a different function, so we want to do uh, cosine, and then we want to do 60, then we can type that in as well. So notice using those functions like sine, like cos, tan, cotangent, etc. Um, all you do is start typing it in in your equation editor, and it automatically converts it then to the normal text. And I thought I'd show you something quite nice at the end, so plus minus, gets all about getting used to the equation editor here. So if I click on control shift and equals, Again, that's always my starting point. I'm gonna use now the backslash, so Alt, Shift, and seven. If I type in PM, plus minus, 
notice we get the plus minus symbol there. So if you're solving an equation and you get plus minus nine, you can use that as well. Again, if you want to learn more about this, then I do recommend that you look at the buttons at the top and learn some of the hotkeys there as well. But I've gone through the basics here. So starting out, so just using that equation editor, using the hotkeys. Notice I haven't touched anything at the top here in this entire video. Then we looked at fractions using the um, front slash key. Then the exponents using the chevron key, square roots using SQRT, CBRT, trigonometry works as normal, type in sine, type in cos, and then it will come up normally. And then finally, plus minus for a bit of fun, um, all you have to do here is backslash PM. Okay, hopefully you found that useful. If you want to check out my video on the equation editor with Word, then just click the video you just see above you.